Hello and welcome to the Million Dollar Message. This is your fearless Friday message with Callie DeBlander Brigham calling from beautiful Pensacola Beach, Florida. I hope and trust that you had an awesome Cinco de Mary KO. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it. Um, and a great week so far. I want to talk to you today about two things. One is our new summer line that is coming out officially in just a couple of days. Sales directors have been able to play and have fun and even sell. Did you know that? Did you know that we get a buzz kit in the mail almost a month early? And then we get to just kind of experience everything ourselves so that we're prepared. But we also get early ordering privileges. I don't know if you knew that. Yet one more reason to become a sales director. Anyways, so um, early ordering begins for those who qualify with being a star consultant last quarter or uh, registering customers for a preferred customer program. Last month, you get to order on the 10th, everybody else on the 15th, and then it will launch on your personal websites on the 16th. So I'm going to go over a few of my just tiny little tips and tricks and thoughts that I have with some of the new products. And then I'm going to share with you a little insight, a little aha that I had yesterday in my workout. So first, let's talk about our new products. Now, of course, this one isn't new because we all were able to order early our IPR, our Instant Puffiness Reducer. Um, And I don't know if you saw too in – well, you probably didn't. But in the new lookbook, it even tells um, for us as customers or – I mean, us as consultants or customers – to um, show the before and after pictures and tag Mary Kay US with an MK before and after. And it has that in the lookbook, which I think is so cool. And one of the things I was going to share is that I really feel like this is the key that is unlocking the door to so much more. It's like the gateway. So many of the women that have already bought this product from me have never bought Mary Kay from me before. And so I really want to do a good job of following up with them, not only making sure that they like it, but things like having them take. And I told them, take a bunch of selfies. I said, you know, it might take you a couple of days to figure out exactly how much product works best for you, um, all of that. So experiment and play. I told them to take a lot of pictures. And if they're so inclined to post on their social media and to tag me, they can be an influencer for me. You know, that's all the rage, right? They could be an influencer for me and earn freebies and goodies and things like that. So anyways, that's one of the things. Also, I'm utilizing this as an opportunity for them to experience new products, filling in samples. Did you know, speaking of which, that on customer delivery service, you can add in one of the IPR samples Did you also know there's hydrogel eye samples too? So I know shipping's a little bit pricey. It's gone up just a little bit. But my goodness, when you add in the price of a $2 hydrogel sample, a $1 IPR sample, that's $3 in free samples that almost offsets just about all of your shipping, if not about half of it. So how cool is that? Okay, so we're all aware of that. And, you know, ultimately – Your friends and family and customers want to see your pictures, speaking of which. Yes, there are some amazing ones out there, but even if your results are subtle, if that's not something that you struggle with, they want to see you. All right, let's move on to our two new lippies, our Pink Changing Lives Lipsticks. These are limited edition. These are a pucker with a purpose, or the lookbook says, purpose in your purchase. And, you know, seasonally we have um, a product, typically something with the lips, that $1 from every purchase goes to the Mary Kay Foundation. It supports the Mary Kay Foundation. So this is what this is for us now. Through through August 15th, these two new $18 retail heart-shaped lipsticks. Now, the packaging on the outside looks exactly the same for both. So it threw me off just a little bit. But there are stickers on the bottom. I have to tell you, the new Natural Confidence, which is kind of a neutral, um, um, really light color, that is probably my favorite nude maybe ever. Um, It's not completely nude. It gives just a little bit of color. But I was on a soccer field all weekend last weekend. I paired that with a little pink ballerina on top in the center. And, oh, my goodness, it is my favorite. 
Now, the other thing I was going to tell you, oh, and the Courageous Pink has a little bit of a red pink to it. It's almost a pink version of Red Roma, if you're familiar with that. They are velvety. Um, they are creamy. They do have a matte finish, but not a dry matte finish. They are gorgeous. And last year when we had the lip glosses, one of the things that I told my customers when I was speaking about them is that my sister-in-law was battling breast cancer last year. And I told her, I said, Donna, every time I put this lip gloss on, it's going to remind me to pray for you. And that was powerful. And whether it's breast cancer or other cancers that affect women or someone that you know that has been affected by domestic violence, what a powerful, powerful way to remember to think of them and to pray for them every time you apply this lipstick. And so that is truly taking it to the next level, don't you think? Um, so, by the way, thankfully, my sister-in-law is doing so well and um, just wanted to throw that thought out there for you. Next, let's move on with our gel cream blushes. This is so hot out on the market right now. These also retail for 18. They come in four shades. I will tell you that kind of like the IPR, a little bit goes a long way. Don't get caught like I was the very first time and kind of squirt out a bunch and put it all on. It will be enough for days, for days. As a matter of fact, I do like to dot it on a little bit with my fingers, and I do like to blend it out, either with the Mary Kay cheek brush or the sponge. I just really like the way that looks. Now, another tip that I heard, and I tried this last night with my team, and it was amazing. It's got a foil seal on it. So, of course, the first tube I took, I just peeled the seal off. But so much product comes out, it's almost too much. So I took a little pin, a safety pin, and I poked a hole in the foil. And now the perfect amount comes out. Well, last night with my team, I not only dotted some on my cheek, but I also dotted a little bit on my eyelid mm -hmm, for a little fun pop of color kind of right in the center. And then I took, I had the um, the pink color, the courageous pink on, and I took a little bit of the blushing pink, that's what I was using, and I popped it in the center of my lip to create almost an ombre look. It was so fun. So did you know that these four shades can be used? Cheek, lip, and even eyes. Love it. Comes in four shades, blushing pink, dewy peach, very happy, and simply rosy. And then we've got an addition, a limited addition, to our satin body. We've got our shea scrub and our whipped um, shea cream, both in water lily, fresh water lily. You guys know about the shea cream, right? I mean, and it was funny. We did a Cinco de Mary Kay bingo last night, and one of my gals, Liz, um, she is a Spicy Latina, and we were calling out all the bingo numbers in Spanish. Well, she was. And I said, well, how would you say, like, butter, like a body butter in Spanish? And she laughed. She goes, well, it would probably be more the cream, crema. I was like, ooh, okay. Uh, so it's like frosting. I mean, that's just what I think. It does have a definite uh, bold fragrance to it at first, when you first smell it, but it really settles into a nice, subtle, subtle fragrance. So it's got all kinds of beautiful, think like um, the water lily. It's got jasmine water and freesia, even lemon and bergamot in it. It's got a little bit of a musky bottom note too. So, so fun. This is limited edition. So be thinking about who already loves satin body or be thinking about something like, I don't know, a graduation or a bride, a bridal shower or something fun where you want to give a fun gift. And then, of course, our After Sun Gel is back. Um, this is always a special edition, which means it comes back. It goes for as long as it will last over the summer, which I can guarantee will not be all summer long. For just $15, it's not only an amazing product to slather on after the sun, but we have a drawer in our bathroom with one of these in there at all times. And my kids go and run if they've got a scrape or a bug bite or really anything. They just put the blue gel on. And so this is going to be a great, again, maybe end of the year teacher gift paired with a fun towel and some sunglasses uh, because summer is starting. So those are our new products, just a couple little things that I've observed with them, and I hope that that helps. All right, the last thing I wanted to share with you is what happened in my workout yesterday. So I work out across the street from my house in my neighbor's garage. I've shared this before. We call it the pit. It's not air conditioned. And yes, I live in Florida. More often than not, I work out with my neighbor and um, many times another friend. 
well, no one was able to work out yesterday, so I went and worked out by myself. And I decided just to do one of the workout videos. Um, so I pressed play on it, and something interesting happened. This particular workout video, the way that he formatted it, it was uh, the first exercise you did for 60 seconds. The second exercise, you just did 15 of those. The third exercise, you did for 60 seconds. The fourth exercise, you did 15 reps, and so forth. Well, I tend to be a fairly disciplined person. I mean, I'm working out by myself when they didn't even show up. <laughs> um, I do like to work out. I mean, I really do. It's not that bad. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of the person that, you know, I want to um, achieve and I want to finish what I started. But I noticed this about myself. When it was the segment where it was just 60 seconds, and it was just do as many as you can in 60 seconds, I had a little bit of a different mentality. It was sort of like, you know, however many I get, I get. I didn't really push myself because I knew I was going to go the duration. I was going to do the 60 seconds. But I don't know. It just had a definite different tone to it. Now, when it was time to do the 15 reps of something, I mean, that was very clear what I was going to do. I was not going to stop at 13 reps. <laughs> if it was really hard at nine, I was going to keep going because I just had six more, right? I set myself mentally at the beginning of each 15. Okay, just 15. Sometimes I'd count down 15, 14, 13. And then it would come to the minute, and it was almost like a little break because mentally I didn't have to be there. Nobody was really checking up on me. Um, my neighbor wasn't there to like, ooh, if she's going faster than me, I'm going to go faster than her. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, I wonder if this has anything to do with how we can be with goal setting. I don't know if you've ever said this before, like, well, this month I'm just going to sell as much as I can. Or I'm going to see as many faces as I can see. Or I'm just going to, I'm going to work for a couple of hours today or a couple of minutes. Or I'm just going to check in with a few people today. I'm going to see how many people I can get on this marketing event. Any of that sound familiar? You know, what happens when we do that? whether it's in our Mary Kay business or just in general. I'm going to eat healthy this week. <laughs> you know, what happens is we don't really have a specific end game. And when we don't have a specific end game, we can, I don't know, let ourselves off the hook a little bit or maybe take our foot off the gas. And so I want you to think about an area today that instead of saying, I'm just going to do as much as I can, that you get specific and you say, you know what? I'm going to, and it can still be effort-based, I'm going to make 10 phone calls, or I'm going to get five bookings, or I'm going to sell $200, or I'm going to share with this number of people. And I just want you to remember, you can have a visual of me sweating my tail off in the pit, either me kind of taking a little bit of a break, still putting in the effort, still making it look like I'm doing it all for 60 seconds, or... I'm going to do 15 no matter what. So whether it's IPAs, I'll do as many IPAs as I can get this week. Or whether it is I'm going to hit 15 IPAs this week no matter what. So maybe it's about pre-selling some items. Maybe it's about the instant puffiness reducer, IPR. Maybe it's something else going on in your business, especially as we're right in the middle of the final two months. So take that to heart. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk with you next Friday. Bye-bye.